battlefield internet between cyber war and information war. Well, that was really an, a very interesting on point and also eye opening panel. I'm here with Dr. Markus Reisner, colonel of the Austrian Federal Ministry of Defense. Dr. Reisner, you said that Russia is already fighting us on the cyber realm. What do you mean by that? Well, the thing is, uh, wars are today fought in several domains. So we have uh, really some kind of multi-domain operations going on. So you know there is these traditional domains, like it is through sea, land, air, or even space. But now we also have the cyber domain and we have the information domain. And the thing is that the cyber domain and the information domain actually can immediately have an effect on all the other domains. So what we see at the moment is that we still a lot concentrate on what is happening in Ukraine on the battlefield, but we forgot very often that the cyber war and the information war is also going on, and this is actually fought at our home front. So that means in the European countries, within the European people. Yes, and you've also shown us a very interesting video that underlines the Russian narrative about the war of defense. So can you tell us more about Russians' motivation? Well, it's important to understand that uh, every side tries to influence the target audience. So in Russia, the target audience is especially their own people. And what they try is to make them understand that there is the same situation like it was with their grandfathers and grandparents and grandmothers, the Great Patriotic War. So there is a Great Patriotic War 2.0. So it's not we are fighting against Ukraine. No, it's the West fighting against us like it was when we fought against fascism. And this is the narrative which fits perfectly into the Russian culture because it's Russian DNA to understand that it's necessary to fight fascism. And coming back to cyber war, what can we, the people, do fighting this disinformation on the home front? Okay, I will give you a very easy formula. There was a very famous uh, American uh, pilot in the Second World War who developed a very simple system for situation and awareness. It's called the OODA loop. So it's uh, observe, orient, date, decide, act. So if you see something on your little cell phone and you think it's interesting, then you should first decide a little bit, okay, what should we do with this information before you act, more or less. Yeah, that means have a look at the information, observe it, orient it, so could it be true or not, and then decide if I spread it out or not. So these very simple steps will help you a lot to avoid enemies' information going around. Thank you very much. <laughs>